today I am actually going to take you through a fun little Christmas pin collection. I have been carrying this Eda bag since they came out this summer <laughs> and I love it. You can see I'm actually missing some because when I run out of business cards I actually give people <laughs> pins off of my bag. <laughs> um, but I love it but it seems a little spoopy. It's not very festive right now. So I am going to switch it out with my pink purse and do this. Okay, so let's watch. <laughs> you can see how my Eda bag works and you can see the pins that I have chosen to put on my Christmas bag and see how I do it. It's super fun. I love mixing things up. I've been missing making another bag. It was so fun making this first one. So I wanted to make this Christmassy one. All of the makers are tagged below. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So let's get to it. Okay, so how do you like it? I think it looks really cute in the pink bag, particularly. I thought the pink and teal looked really fun. It's one of my favorite combos. I think I'm gonna do yellow next. If you have any suggestions for what color inserts I should do next, that would go really well with this fun bright pink and black, I think yellow would be good. Anyway, I love how this came out and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about some of the pins that are on this. So you saw me put it together, um, but it was pretty fast because it's kind of boring just to watch me put pins on a bag. But um, so in this bag, I'm gonna come a little closer. Ooh, so I'm gonna start, I'll start at the top. This is one of my first Christmas pins that I did. It's a glittery one, a glittery cat tree because it's my life at Christmas time. Um, and then this one is also mine. This is from last year, just a little present cat. Um, this one is by Kate Gabrielle. I love her work. I think she's so sweet and vintage and pastel and super fun. Um, and then we've got a little shop shawl. Uh, shawl is so great. It's uh, Serena and Natal. Uh, they're amazing. We've got Pretty Candy Pan Company. And then these two are ones that I designed um, for Pin Party Post. It was a subscription that I did with my friend Lauren of the Burlap Bag for a while, but I kind of overextended myself, so um, I had to pull back from that. Um, but 
I love this design so much and I said oh my gosh can I please make <laughs> another colorway of this one so we worked it out and um, I'm releasing this one just in my shop because I love it it's a rainicorn it's got a candy cane striped unicorn horn I think it's brilliant um this one is by um my gosh they're huge I just blanked on their name Punky pins. I saw my brain break for a minute. Um, they're really great. This is another one of mine, a glittery holly pin. I talked about this one a little bit in another video because uh, Pony People made one and she debuted hers right before, like I had just sent this one to the manufacturer and I had not seen hers at all and they're like so close and I was like, oh my God, are you okay with this? Uh, what do I do and she was totally cool with it because she's awesome um, so these are limited edition I don't think I'll do these again um, just because the similarities are just too close um, and I don't want to be I don't want to be that person this middle one this giant mamba jamba is a collab that I did with Amy Rose Studios uh, we met on Instagram and she's amazing so uh, it's two inches it's enormous it's in my shop. You should get it. It's so good. It's glittery. Oh, I love it. These two are also mine. I make a lot of Christmas pants, apparently. I love Christmas. Um, they're little bad kittens with coal. And then I've got a little Hello Kitty one. And this was my December pin club from this year. I don't actually have any individuals of this one to sell because I actually got a pretty high rate of seconds on that one, which was a little disappointing. And I'm probably being way too picky, but um, I love the design, so I think I'm gonna try it again later, maybe next year in a uh, silver or something like that. This is by Hear Meow. She has a couple of different ones. I think she's got a rainbow metal one in her shop, but I love this Christmassy one. Um, so cute. And we've got some Eric Bukima. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, right here. And here and here he had a really great Christmas collection a couple years ago Instagram has stopped showing me his stuff so I need to clearly go re-engage because <laughs> I love his work we've got some another couple more Hello Kitties and this one is by I am Luna soul I think it's sold out now but I love it and we've got a Christmas gnome that I love a little choir cat Caroline cat that I did last year I loved the little um, just a little choir robe outfit. And then a uh, gingerbread house by Sugar Bones. And this one is really special. I did this one for Pin Party Post last year too. Last year? The year before. Don't even remember. <laughs> it's so long ago. Um, but this is actually my grandmother's fireplace. Uh, we always used to go to her house in Central Texas. She's in the hill country. It's beautiful, but she has this amazing old stone fireplace, this great mantle. So I just kind of reimagined she always would hang stockings for everyone uh, when Santa was coming to visit us. <laughs> and yeah, so I just made a little mantle scene of her um, fireplace, which I love. So that's my Christmas that's my little Christmas bag. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> um, if you like this video, feel free to share it. Um, definitely check out all the artists below. Thank you for hanging out, and I'll be back with more pin videos soon.